Once upon a time, there was a mysterious and evil villain that roamed the skies of Schmeekly Reserve. This lurking bird of doom is known to us as the turkey vulture. Wait, what? Did you just say turkey vulture and villain in the same sentence? Well, yeah, that's what it says right here. No, no way. Come with me. <laughs> Vultures are often depicted as mischievous villains in animated movies, when in real life, vultures, like this one here, are misunderstood secret heroes. Okay, but how? I'll show you. Let's hit the trails of Schmeekly. A visitor here at Schmeekly dropped their bag on the ground. Who is the villain and who is the hero? The hero is the person picking up the bag, and that person can be compared to a turkey vulture. Turkey vultures aren't an evil roaming the sky. They're the unsung heroes picking up after our litter. Who even are you? Hi, I'm Callie Jones, and I'm an environmental education student here at the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point. Okay, but how do you know all this stuff? I love everything birds, especially when it comes to vultures. I spent the summer as an intern at Raptor Education Group. See, look here. Mind if I continue? Sure. All right, as we were discussing, turkey vultures are our unappreciated garbage men. Turkey vultures don't eat live prey. They eat dead or decaying carcasses known as carrion. Turkey vultures keep Schmeekly clean and safe from terrible diseases. In other words, without turkey vultures, Schmeekly trails would have a lot less garbage bags and a lot more rotting flesh. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Let's keep reading. Oh, what an ugly bald head you have. The better to eat carrion with, my dear. Oh, what a daunting beak you have. The better to keep clean with, my dear. Oh, what a large gaping nose you have. The better to smell you with, my dear. Hey, that's not what the book says. Well, the book is wrong, and this is slander. Their bald heads keep harmful bacteria from sticking to them, and their sharp, hooked beaks allow them to not only tear carrion in an efficient way, but it also helps them to constantly preen and stay hygienic. The large hole that is their nose gives them an extraordinary sense of smell. In fact, they can smell over a mile away. That's about 17 football fields. All of these things that may make them look scary are actually adaptations that are specific to their job to keep our environment clean and safe. Wait, there's more and it's not looking good. This wretched bird of darkness has a grotesque way of capturing its prey. It uses none other than an acid forest burning vomit. Uh, not quite. Vultures do have an acid vomit, but it's not quite forest burning. Vultures, as we said, don't eat live prey. They're eating dead and decaying carcasses, again called carrion. So they need something to protect themselves. So they have acid juices in their stomach that help them beat diseases like cholera and bad bacteria, not only keeping us safe, but also them. And yeah, they do vomit sometimes, and it is acidic, but it helps keep them safe from predators and out of danger. They can even vomit their food up to 10 feet away. It's a pretty cool superpower if you ask me. You know, I think I need to start shopping at a different bookstore. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Why don't you put the book down for a second? Let's go explore the trails of Schmeekly. Will I see a vulture? It's very likely. Vultures are often found soaring up in the sky. In fact, Vultures can soar up to six hours on just one flap of their wings. That's pretty cool. I think I might go bird watching right now. I hope you spot one. And remember, don't judge a bird by its feathers. <laughs>